So I wanted to share with you guys, it's a very sad story, but I wanted to share it. car in nearby Texas City. Angela Leanne Mitchell had been missing since last Thursday. And the discovery of her body comes just days after her family claims they told police about the car's location. Jason Miles is live from Texas City. Jason, any leads as to who may have put her there? Not at this point, Mia. Everything remains under investigation. We do know that this missing mother was reported missing one week ago today. Her family says they found her car right over there a day later, but the trunk was not opened until yesterday. Feeding pet chickens is a daily routine, but Ben Washington says he can't stop thinking about something very much out of the ordinary. It's peaceful around here, but when that happened, it was like... This is video from yesterday when Texas City Police found a woman's body in the trunk of her car just a few yards away after neighbors called about a suspicious odor. It was parked near a tree along 4th Street where a piece of crime scene tape remains today. I don't understand people. I mean, I was raised different. I'm 46 years old. I don't like that type of crap. I mean, it's, it's not cool. Police say the body in the trunk was that of 24-year-old Angela Leanne Mitchell of nearby Dickinson a mother of four reported missing by her family last Thursday. All I wanted to do was find my baby. I was just trying to find my baby. Mitchell's mother, Georgia, says her daughter's past includes sex work, but that she was trying to build a better life. She claims police dismissed her concerns early on, even after the family says it tracked down Mitchell's car five days before officers finally popped the trunk. And I went yesterday to the Tech City Police Department and I found an officer that was an absolute angel. I found one that finally took me seriously. The Galveston County Medical Examiner's Office is working to determine Angela Mitchell's cause of death, although her mother and others are convinced she was the victim of a horrible crime. She had four babies that loved her and that she loved. And I have a seven month old grandson that's never gonna know his mama. Certainly a sad situation, and it's unclear the last place Mitchell may have been before her car showed up here. Right now, there is up to $5,000 being offered for information leading to an arrest, although at this point, the case has yet to be ruled a homicide. Reporting live from Texas City, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Someone somewhere knows something. Jason Miles, thank you. <clears throat> well, in some cases, uh, police officers don't listen to the family and things like this happen. So please be mindful and please share out her story. And hopefully we will um, get the autopsy results, stuff like that. And I will keep you guys updated and posted of what happened to her. And please keep the family in you guys' thoughts. Thank you. And thank you for wa watching. Please like this and share it. Thank you very much.